Here we go. Green flag. Three wide into the corner. McDowell way to the outside. Oh, he lost grip. It was working, Jamie. It came out from underneath of him. Going to lose some time here. Yeah, and you saw Josh Berry fight to get to the bottom. You see right there in front of Justin Haley. He's able to get to the bottom. Let's him in right there. NASCAR says the start is under review. Still three wide off the corner. A lot of beat and bang. Harrison Burton to the bottom. Priest gets to the bottom and almost got turned around in the process. You know, Clint, the one thing interesting about what McDowell did there is that because everybody's fighting to get to the bottom, they're checking that lane up. I think he was trying to capitalize on that and just overcook the corner a little bit. Well, when bit. I heard you say, you know, you think wait for the aggression to later. Yeah, he didn't I wait was long. Thinking, well, I was thinking that's a good move, a smart move, because probably everybody out there is thinking the same thing. Just take it easy right now. Good opportunity to pounce. But it's costing a lot of spots here can't get down McDowell finally got in line in eighth place as Todd Gilliland gets underneath Corey LaJoy NASCAR has approved the start and we continue and one thing guys is you see Eric trying to get underneath Corey LaJoy I like the, the the radio transaction that LaJoy he said look search for some nuggets he's talking to the spotter if you see a driver moving around doing something if he finds some grip somewhere on the track tell me about it so I can try to do it like what I see out of Justin Haley early Got some speed in that car. Applying pressure on Josh Berry. He's one that might catch you off guard to get in this race. That's for second place. These guys back here, you see AJ Allmendinger, all these guys, they're going to have to start getting aggressive, and it's going to have to come early. LaJoy's car will not hold the bottom of the racetrack. Harrison Burton gets underneath him in the 21. That's another thing. You see everybody starting to line up on that bottom. You get somebody shoveled out. You got to be there to fill the hole. Do not allow him to get in. Yeah, we saw this in the heat races yesterday. You see Corey LaJoy, the position he's in. He's in trouble right here. He is most likely going to fall in line at the end of this line of cars. This track has been the worst track for that outside groove. It's just you got to be on the bottom. You don't want to get shoveled up. And you see that seven car is really loose on the entry to the I corner. I think your only chance is to Inside. catch them on the exit and kind of put their right front in the middle of your door, put some pressure on them, try to get them loose. You're going to have to lean on them. Ryan Newman, a little bump there with Noah Gregson. You know, guys, watching our top two right now, Ty Gibbs in that 54 car, he's pretty much pulling fourth gear all the way around this track. Josh Berry in the 48, though, is pulling fifth gear. I, I like the idea of Josh Berry doing fifth gear, Clint. If you can minimize the wheel spin, Josh Berry has raced here before, and the type of racing he has grown up doing, it's about managing your tires, saving your tires. He might give up a little bit of speed on the front end, but if he can save those rear tires, which you know are wearing more than the fronts, he might be better on the longer run. And that